Yes, it's your boy Hatfree Speaks. We're gonna go get in today with Queen, and the song is called Jealousy. All right, so it's a first time listen, first time reaction, guys. Uh, before I do begin, I want to thank Alan uh, for putting the request forward out there on Patreon. There is a link below in the description box with how you can get involved with the channel and all that good stuff. All right, so before I do begin, as I mentioned, it's a first time listen, first time reaction. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, give the video a like, give it a share because we're going to drop in today with Queen. The song is called Jealousy, the official lyric video. Got no idea what this is about. Alan did mention something to do with. Uh, uh, Freddie sort of playing the piano on this. Okay, so we we'll see how that goes. And you know what it is with Queen? I got something to share with Queen about with you guys. Uh, so it's been on my it's been on my mind quite a while. I might sh I might I'm gonna share this right now. I'm surprised with the amount of reactions I've done to them. All right, I'm I'm really surprised. It, it's been unintentional. It hasn't been. It's not been an, an, an intentional thing. It's not something I planned to do. It's been unintentional. And simply because every song I've heard so far has not been the same. <laughs> That's why. Never boring. All right, let's jump in. First time listen, first time reaction. All right. Written by Freddie Mercury from the album Jazz. All right. Can you be all to fall in love was my very first mistake How was I to know I was far too much in love to see Cry your eyes. I like the way he said that. <laughs> He's talking about jealousy like it's an actual person. Because jealousy is not a person. You can't really objectify jealousy as a, a, a like, it's a, it's a feeling, it's an emotion, right? So you can't really say, oh, jealousy, you got, but I, I can see it. You got the better of me. Or sometimes you say, that person got the better of me. Okay, yeah, I can see who you're talking about. But jealousy, it's, uh, it's internal. Only you can experience it. Only you have a certain element of control of how much jealousy kind of affects your well-being, right? So how, how Freddie's talking about this is quite interesting, uh, let alone the way he sets off the tone. And what was it like, John Lennon? Jealous guy? Didn't mean to hurt you. Do, 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 do. I wonder if jealousy and jealous guy came around, came out at the same sort of time. Who knows? Worth checking. If one of you guys know know that, let me know because it'd be quite interesting to see if that sort of around that time period, if John Lennon jealous guy or was it Freddie Mercury jealousy came out? Which one came out first? I'm guessing John Lennon, but we'll, we'll, we'll take a look. Uh, we'll, I'll, we'll see. I'm going to read that book, the Queen one after this song anyway. So yeah, love the way he said surprise. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. You got me somehow. You gave me no warning. Took me by Suspicion on my trail How, how, how will my jealousy I wasn't mad enough to let you hurt my pride Now I'm only left with my own jealousy Very poetic He says oh how strong can you be i would have thought it would have gone like oh how strong can you be like it would have been a bit more different i'm, I'm just getting this weird different sound to it okay but he's really sort of slowed it down for this uh, uh, wow another one another one oh how strong can you be with matters of the heart life is 
is much too short to while away with tears. If only you could see just... That was creepy. In a good way. It's eerie. Life is too short. You know, and it's Freddie Mercury singing it. You know, so, some people were saying when they hear Bohemian Rhapsody again after what's happened, when they hear those lyrics, it, it, it's, it's kind of eerie knowing what's happened. You know what I'm saying? It's like it was almost like a prediction to the future. But anyway, we'll go back in. Wow. With matters of the heart, life is much too short to while away with tears. If only you could see just what you do jealous jealousy You tripped me up jealousy You brought me down You bring me sorrow You cast me pain jealousy when will you let I love the bass kicks in there. Yeah, I said it. We'll go back. Either that's Roger. It's like a dum, 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 in the back. Maybe it's just me. Check it out. We'll go back. Jealousy. When will you let go? Got a hold of my possessive mind. Turn me into a jealous kind. I think the bicycle race was from this album as well, wasn't it? Well, guys, Freddy, you're not left with your own jealousy, mate. You're left with your legacy, my friend. And your fans are from across around the world. Incredible. Yeah. Awesome. Very, uh, quite complex. And he said, I never, I never let you hurt my pride. I never let you hurt my pride. Jealousy. I, now all I got left, all I'm left with is, je is jealousy or something along those lines. Interesting lyrics. Interesting. Uh, don't know again what the reference is to, uh, but yeah, I've said my thoughts, heard the, the little nuances going on in the background of that song. Love the harmonies put together. Oh, man, that is... That is a un, I've, that is a song. That is a good song, actually. That's a really good song because you know emotions such as look. Let's keep it real. There's greed, envy, jealousy. Uh, what else is there that you shouldn't really experience? People say don't experience it. You're not supposed to experience it. What you can take away from this song? You do experience it. Embrace it. Take it. <laughs> If you do feel jealous, accept the fact you're jealous. Like Freddie did in the song. I'm just left with jealousy. I'm not happy about it, but I've accepted the fact. That's all I've got left now. <laughs> right? Right? A lot, lot of the time, people say, but it is true. It is true. Oh, I'm, I'm not, it's, not, it's not true. It's not true. I don't feel that way. Well, what if you What if you were? What if you are? Accepting it and moving on is the best thing to do. Whatever. Even anger. I'm not angry. All right. I'm not. All right. Just get more angry, eh? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, you know, do, the two don't correlate. So one thing you can take away from this song is like acceptance of those emotions. Oh, we're quite happy to accept when we're happy. Oh, we're quite happy to accept the fact when we enjoy ourselves. And we're very happy when we're excited. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me that any time of the week. Give me that. Give me that. Give me more of that. Whatever you got. Give me more. Oh, when it comes to jealousy, greed, anger, lust, envy. Oh, no. We can't experience those, folks, can we? No, we can't. But what we could take away from this song, and just my two cents as well thrown in here, is why not accept it? Why not accept the fact you might be envious? You might be jealous. You, know, you might even be angry. 
All right. I'm not. I'm not saying this to like anyone who's who. who I don't know what who, whatever the, anyone else is experiencing. I don't know. But I, I'm. I'll tell you guys straight up. I've experienced all those emotions I talked about. I've experienced as well. All right. And I think Freddie Mercury at the time of this song may have felt a certain way. And instead of, um, I guess he, he did mention pride. Swallowing his pride is what he should have done. He didn't. So he might have acted out. Who knows? Um, aggressively, arguments, fighting. We don't. I don't really know if that was from his perspective. He's writing it, or somebody else's perspective. He's he, you know, he's an interesting songwriter. Anyway, uh, we never know whose perspective he's writing from, um, and who he's talking about exactly, right? Because everything was done in a way where anything around his life. I mean, we don't, anyway, we're going too much into that end, but going with the song and, and, and how it is, is, is accepted the fact that there is that emotion there, embraced it, wrote a song about it, put it out to the world, and I guess case closed. All right, guys, I'm going to jump in with in a book and oh, I'll be back. Okay, got it here, guys. Okay, so it says here, musicians, Freddie Mercury, lead vocals, backing vocals, piano. So that was him doing the harmonies by himself. Uh, Brian May, acoustic guitar, John Deacon bass, Roger Taylor, of course, drums. Okay, so uh, Martin Studios, Montrex, is recorded there. Uh, singles, Jealousy, Side A, and Side B was Fun It. Okay, so it says Genesis. In Jealousy, Freddie Mercury opted to marry a gentle ballad with jazz overtones, addressing himself directly as a villain. Oh, so, okay. Mercury uses his text to express just how much damage his feelings of jealousy have caused him. Jealousy, look at me now. Jealousy, you got me somehow. You gave me no warning, took me by surprise. As per usual with the members of Queen, uh, Freddy was low to go into great detail regarding his lyrics. You'd think we would talk about our lyrics with each other, but we never did. It was kind of unwritten law that you that you really didn't explain your lyrics to other guys. Okay, I think this is Freddie Mercury saying this. And this rule didn't just apply to the songs that the band members had written for themselves. In an interview some years later with uh, Total Guitar, Freddie went on to say, Actually, I've always thought it was a bad idea to explain songs too much. I remember being so disappointed with Paul Simon, what with what Paul Simon had to say about his writings, it destroyed my mental image. So, it should come as no surprise that the origins of jealousy are opaque at best. If the lyrics refer to Freddie's relationship with any specific person, the details have since been lost to history. We'll never know. So it's open to interpretation. So anyway, whatever I said, that was my two cents on it. Uh, but he wrote it, he said here, addressing, addressing himself directly as a villain. Okay, I mean, if you think being jealous makes you a villain, then I, I don't know. I, feel, I always thought well, if you accept it, it's it's how you move on from that. There is a bit more writing going. There's a bit more writing there, uh, which talks about the production. But I just wanted to give an overview of the actual genesis of what they said about the song. Awesome. All right, guys, that was my reaction. Thanks so much for putting the request forward, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Don't forget the Queen playlist, guys. Peace.